everybody, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to learn how to make spinner simulator on scratch. At the end of this video, you are going to be able to make a game just like this one. Let's get started. So the first step of making the spinner simulator is making the spin system. To start with the spin system, you can go to events and add a when green flag is click it block. So when green flag is click it, it will go to x0 and y4 t. Just make sure you are in the spinner sprite, okay? And then it will switch costume to spinner 1. The spinner has four, five costumes, okay? Spinner 1, Spinner 2, Spinner 3, Spinner 4, and Spinner 5. And then, after you make this code, go to the button sprite. And then add, when green flag is click it, it will go to x0 and y negative 140, okay? And then it will also switch costume to costume 1 set size to 65 okay and then go to controls and add a forever block then drag an if then else block so if touching mouse pointer it will go to controls add a repeat until block it will repeat until size is equal to 75 so it will just add a size block it will change size by 2 okay duplicate this code so if it's not touching the mouse pointer it will decrease size by decrease size by negative 2 until the size is 65 okay let's test it click on the green flag and as you can see, every time I'm touching the spin button, it will increase the size. After that, go to events and add a when this, this sprite is clicked block over here. So when the spin button is clicked, it will broadcast. Just input a new message and it's called spin. And then go to the spinner sprite. When I receive spin, before we continue, just uh, go to variables and make a new variable, okay? It's called power. So when green flag is clicked, it will set power to zero. When it receives spin, it will set power. Let's pick a number. I'm going to pick 80, okay? And then go to controls and add repeat until block, okay? Oh yeah, don't forget to go to motion and add a point in direction 90 block, okay? So when the green flag is clicked, it will the spinner will reset its direction into 90, like this. So it will repeat until power equals to 0. Repeat until power equals to 0. Uh, it will turn right the as according to the power power variable okay and then duplicate this code put it here so when it receives spin just delete the set power block it will wait hold up it's lagging okay just give me a second it will wait 0 0.05 seconds then it will also wait 0 0.05 seconds and then it will change power by negative 1 so this will decrease the power okay and then let's give it a test okay so just click on a grid flag uh, and then let's press, press spin as you can see when I press spin the spinner will, all, will spin why? Because when the button is clicked, it will broadcast spin, and when the spinner receives spin, it will set power to 80, and then it will turn 
uh, write as much as the power power variable, okay? And every 0 0.5 seconds, 0 0.05 seconds, it will change power by uh, negative one, okay? So that will make the spinner spin slower and slower until it stops, okay? On to the next step. So the next step of making the spinner simulator is making the sys costume changing system, okay? As we can see on the screen, we have two big arrows. One is pointing in the left direction and one is pointing in the right direction. These two sprites are uh, doesn't has any function right now, so we must code it. Just go to the right arrow sprite and uh, drag a one green flag is click it block. So when green flag is clicked, it will go to X 190 and Y 10. And then uh, when this sprite is clicked, it will broadcast next cost next costume, okay? Next cost costume. And then uh, go to the spinner sprite and when I receive next costume it will switch into the next costume okay and then go to the left arrow sprite and when green flag is clicked it, it will go to x negative 190 and y10 and then when this sprite is clicked it will broadcast previous costume previous Costume. And then go to the spinner sprite again. When I receive previous costume, it will switch into the previous costume of the sprite. So Scratch doesn't have any previous costume blocks. We have to make our own previous costume block. To make it, just combine switch costume block with uh, minus block. Uh, it will switch costume to the current costume number minus one. Hold up. It will switch to the current costume number uh, minus one. So if you have the costume number costume number three, it will when it receive previous costume, it will uh, switch costume to the prefe to the costume number uh, minus one. So three minus one is two. So it will switch costume to the costume number two. Okay, let's give it a test. Click on the green flag. Let me just hide the power variable first. Okay, last full screen. So let's test the costume first, okay? Costume changing system, and it works. Every time I'm pressing the left arrow, it will switch costume to the next costume. Every time I'm pressing the uh, wait, every time I'm pressing the right arrow, it will switch into the next costume. Every time I'm pressing the left arrow, it will switch costume to the previous costume, okay? Now let's test the spinning system. Click on the spin button, and as you can see, the spinner is spinning, very smooth. Every spinner has its own spin, okay? Just like this one. This one spins like a shuriken. It, it is pretty, pretty awesome. That's all for this video, friends. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you learned something new from this video. And if you want the project link, the project link is in this in the description of this video. And don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye.